short Persian Empire archaeological evidence from Peter James' book Centuries of Darkness. I have shown in this series of articles that there are several pieces of evidence that the Persian Empire did not last the 200 years proposed by historians, but only 21 years as described in the Old Testament. This is an idea I presented in detail in my book, The Fourth Day, Why the Bible is Historically Accurate. My article, Old Testament History Revised Jeremiah's Eclipse provides astronomical evidence from the Bible for this idea and my article, Old Testament History Revised The 390 Days of Ezekiel provides evidence from the famous prophecy from the Biblical Book of Ezekiel for this idea. This article provides archaeological support for a short Persian empire based on information described in Peter James' book, Centuries of Darkness. Archaeological findings of the Babylonian and Persian empires recall that earlier in this book I proposed that the Babylonian Empire's reign over Judah occurred about 180 years later than the conventional biblical chronology dating. What about Judah's migration from Persia in accordance of the edict by Cyrus I to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem? According to the conventional biblical chronology this would have occurred in 539 BC. However the fourth day biblical chronology dates this event in 350 BC. Let's allow Peter James book settled the matter. According to the biblical record during the reign of King Cyrus the Persian it was a very active time in Israel. Those that acquired wealth in the Babylonian and Persian reigns of Babylon returned home. If the fourth day biblical chronology is the correct model this lack of archaeological findings is easily explained. Persia was only present from 352 BC to 331 BC so there should only be about either 21 years of artifacts present. If you believe the conventional chronology there would have been 207 years to indicate the presence of that Persians. The Persians were just not there for much of the period in question. Those strata that are present are at the time frame after 450 BC. According to Peter James other archaeologists have lamented the fact that to be such a relative recent time frame in history there are surprisingly few finds for this period. All these observations just enforce the observation that the Persian Empire was a short-lived event in the history of Judah. Peter James doesn't have much better news about the Jewish exile to Babylon. James paints a bleak picture for archaeological findings in the time frame 587 to 539 BC that represents the Babylonian conquest. Indeed not. Since, according to Fourth Day Biblical Chronology, the Babylonians and the Persians did not show up in the lives of Judah until after 450 BC, there is certainly no reason to believe in a dark age in Palestine. The evidence speaks for itself, the Babylonians and the Persians were just not there from 587 BC to 450 BC. They were not there because the Persian Empire only lasted 21 years, not the more than 200 years that the conventional chronology model claims.